I'm Ann Klingensmith, and I'm professor of art at Iowa Wesleyan University. So today we're going to be talking about uh, Old Hershey, mm -hmm. and we were wondering if you could give us some information on what Old Hershey used to be and what your personal experiences were. Sure. Well, Old Hershey, or Hershey Hall, was constructed in the late 1800s, and it was funded by a woman whose name was Elizabeth Hershey. She was from Muscatine, Iowa, and I thought it was especially notable that she was a woman. And it was also designed originally as a residence hall. And it is uh, in the sort of the Romanesque uh, sort of style of architecture, very 18, late 1800s, uh, with lots of rustication and uh, looks sort of castle-like and a very steep roof. It's very asymmetrical. It's unlike most of the buildings on campus. What was your first experience with Hershey, professional or personal? Well, professional and personal are both kind of the same thing. I started teaching here in 1987, so it's way before most of you all were born. Um, but it was, uh, you know, it's just been where my office was and where the art department was for many, many years until we moved over here in, I think, 2018 is when we moved to Hershey West. How do you think the community views Hershey? Uh, I want to say the students, if you know, you know. Uh, it, depend, it just depends on your experience with Hershey, like, like what happened? You may have seen some, seen something run across there and been afraid of Hershey or something like that. But I feel like the people, they just, you know, they look at it like, all right, okay, this is one of the oldest buildings on campus. You get what I'm saying? But at the same time, we is transitioning to a new era. And, you know, uh, it's all about improving at the end of the day. But, hey, if people want to come visit the half ghost town, half not ghost town, they can do that. It means a historical monument that was created in order to show how long Iowa Wesley has been running. Um, not, I'm not sure. It's just another... Because I know there's historical buildings here. Maybe it's just another historical building that no one wants to just see sit there. It should be renovated so everyone can enjoy it. I don't know. It's a pretty historic looking building. So maybe, maybe it has some type of... I don't know. I really don't know, honestly. I don't think a lot of people really pay too much mind to it. They just kind of see it as an abandoned building. But uh, I think it still has some uh, historical significance, and I think uh, it should be made into a better shape than it currently is. Oh, I'm sure it's all over the map. Um, you have some people who think it should be torn down, and it's ugly, and it's served its purpose, and you know, da 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 da. And then you have other people in more of the uh, champions of historic preservation who believe that it should be. Uh, preserved and put on to the historical register, which I do not believe it is. And uh, there's lots of reasons for that, as well as the style of construction is completely different, even between contemporary buildings on this campus. Uh, the chapel is a contemporary to it, and it's solid construction. Uh, Hershey has a lot of steel construction that's used in it. What was your favorite aspect about Hershey? Boy, it's hard to pick one. I love the light. Um, I love the way the windows brought the light in and the spaces. Um, I love the round turret rooms. Um, Don Jones's office was across the hall from mine and his was in the turret room. And then you could go, you know, up that layer and I just I love the idea of a round room. <laughs> what was your least favorite aspect? Water. Water and that's the main reason why we moved out of there is because the heating uh, system which was reliant on the steam heat uh, f couldn't handle it anymore. It failed and we would end up with copious quantities of water all over where we didn't want it like our offices and other places. How has Hershey adapted or changed over the years? Well, it went through a couple of re... some people would say remodeling. I 
third of thinking of as remuddling, where things were rearranged and it, there used to be a gymnasium in the top and in the 50s, I believe, they reconstructed did a bunch of reconstruction there to accommodate for basically all of the GIs who were coming home after World War II for housing and it was converted into housing and all of the residence halls, the ceilings were lowered and um, you know definitely 1950s sort of looking construction. Um, so that was one remodeling and the other remodeling that was done which precedes that I believe was the front of Hershey. It's not the original front. Uh, lots of things are missing and the stairway that was put on there is pretty bad and during my, I don't know, some point in my career they ended up putting a, uh, a handicap ramp on it which you know has yards and yards of concrete and, and you know the necessity of trying to make the ICN room which was the Iowa Communications Network um, room handicap accessible that was their solution to it whatever it looks like a cheap loose chute on the front of Hershey Hall. Are there any interesting stories you've heard or experienced about Hershey over the years? Well, uh, when I worked in it last year, I would work evenings, so the latest I'd probably be there is about 8.30, maybe 9, and you'd hear footsteps above you when there's not even, like, anybody in the entire building, or people walking in the hallway uh, when there's nobody there, nobody in the building, because you can see in the cameras there's nobody there but you could hear them walking and talking. So that was definitely a fun experience throughout the year, at every night. <laughs> I just heard that uh, one day someone was walking around uh, in the dark and they just saw a pair of eyes. That's pretty much it. Okay, have, have you personally had any supernatural experiences? Uh, not in Hershey, no. I have not personally, or friend. I haven't had any friends either, but. I don't know, yeah, it gives me weird vibes walking like around it and stuff, but... Oh, yeah. I mean, Hershey's got a long history of being, you know, the paranormal people are very interested in Hershey because of all of the tales that go along with it. Um, I am not privy to um, a lot of their uh, events that they've held there. I just, I, I figure if there are ghosts there, they've been very friendly to me. And um, I've never felt afraid in the building. Um, many other people used to feel kind of creeped out, but maybe it's just my personality. It's like, eh. if it's a ghost, it's a ghost, big deal. I'm more afraid of the, the live people that, than I am than a ghost. So have you heard any rumors or speculation as to what would be inside of it? No, but it looks creepy, so <laughs> okay. I like it. Um, like, if I watch it, it looks scary, so I don't know. So, okay. Yeah. I haven't heard anything, but I think it's like. Okay. okay. Ghosts, people commit suicide, you know, little crazy stuff happening up there. I don't know what happened up there, but I know something happened up there. Oh, Hershey. Man, from what I heard, I don't know these true. I heard they have rituals going on up there. I don't know what's been going on. I heard they're doing rituals, you know, cult things, type beat, there's ghost up there. They say they say, a lady in the window, you can see type beat. I'm... Okay. Um, with Hershey, that was a conspiracy that like ghosts and like people died in that building or something like that. Like, uh, what's the other thing? I think the craziest thing I heard is like, Someone broke in it before and like died or something like that. But that's about it. How's the closure of Hershey affected you and your students? Well, it has really um, made it difficult for the art department. Art departments take up a great deal of space, and I don't care whether it's digital, a combination, or studio wise. Um, it has definitely pushed us into a little tiny box. Granted, the box has central heating and central air conditioning we love that but we don't have enough elbow room we don't have any storage 
um, our classes are growing and it's, it is important that we start thinking about the future. And what I'd love to see is, is keep this building going. I think it's wonderful. Um, but to do some definitely definite remodeling, but with the idea of studio and other classes, uh, maybe humanities classes, classrooms, that sort of thing, and the top two floors. What do you think the student population may gain from learning about Hershey? I think an appreciation of the age of, of the institution. Of course, the, the oldest building is uh, Pioneer Hall. And, you know, you can kind of chronicle um, a lot about architecture and about uh, the economics of the time period and the interest that people had, interests that people had. And um, Hershey is a romantic building. It comes out of that uh, appreciation for organic growth and material, and it's not so much about man trying to, to be the dominant um, master of all. Um, so it has lots of nods to older architectural styles. And again, I love that it was funded by a woman and there's lots of lovely terracotta features and copper features on the building that um, most people don't really even notice unless they stop to look. Are there any closing thoughts or things you'd like to say about Hershey? When I win the lottery, and I'm hoping that the lottery is about a hundred million, um, Hershey's on my list. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome.